You guys want to see me dip my beard in some coffee? Ah! Let me stop fooling around. All right, terribly tactical. Your boy's back. Um, second cup of coffee this morning. I'm all jacked up, man. Um, but yeah, so I'm sitting here still uploading the first and original, the OG Random Rambles video. And uh, it's now at 48% with 45 minutes left, and I still don't believe it. Um, but... Uh-uh. <sighs> Dude, there's something in this coffee, man. I don't, no other coffee has made me burp like this. Um, I figured in the meantime, though, I would do a review of the E-Leaf iStick 50 watt um, with an Arctic sub-ohm tank. Excellent little setup here. Um, I was originally vaping. I started off, well, I started off smoking about a pack a day of Newport 100s. And those are coffin nails, let me tell you. And uh, not proud of it, um, but I smoked for a few years, and uh, and then you know found out about vaping. At first, I was hesitant. I was like, you know, it's it's not going to be the same. You know, it's weird. It's probably worse for me. This, that, and the other thing, and. Uh, but anyway, I was convinced to try it, so I tried it. I got a little Kanger Evod starter kit, and uh, when I first got it, it was amazing. It was the best thing ever, and I was vaping on it and vaping on it, and I it helped me really stop smoking cigarettes. But then after a while, I don't know if it was the juice I was vaping on or the coil units I was using or the device just got worn out. Um, cause it, for some reason it just, I got used to it. It wasn't hitting as hard for me. Uh, it wasn't nearly as satisfying. I was constantly with that thing in my mouth, um, trying to get a fix and it just wasn't working. Plus I was vaping 18 milligram nicotine, uh, which is very comparable to actual cigarettes in, in the nicotine level. Um, so then I upgraded to an iTaste VV, which you've seen um, in one of my Kitchen Talk videos um, and, the, and the Stop Smoking Cigs vid. And uh, it's a decent little setup. It's got adjustable uh, wattage and volts. And, uh, you know, I had a digital readout. And it was still like a, a pen. It was a vape pen, which I liked because if any of you guys have been watching the channel, you know that, you know, I do the whole EDC thing. I have a lot of stuff on me as it is already every day. So, you know, jamming one more thing, you know, a lot of these guys are walking around with with their little vapes and it looks like a friggin' lightsaber. Like, may the force be with you. Um, and I was just like, no, I want something small, you know, not much bigger than a pen. So, you know, it, it could just ride in the pocket. I won't really notice it, this, that, and the other. Um, and so it was working for me for a while. Um, and the eye taste was better. Um, it, it definitely hit a little bit harder. You know, I could turn up the Watts on it and, uh, you know, I, I, you could use dual coils with that one. And, uh, it was definitely working a little bit better, but then that thing started acting funky on me. Um, it was kind of like riveted together, oddly enough. And, it was like a bad Wasser 10. All the rivets were, were uneven and started to come loose. And, you know, you could rattle that thing around and it sounded like, you know, Skittles in a, in a coffee jar. And uh, eventually it stopped not taking a charge. It was like a, an iPhone cord. You had to sit there and hold it, like, in the certain correct spot for it to charge. And... Uh, it just it was not doing it for me anymore. So I went to the vape shop, um, Grateful Vapors. It's uh, guy in there is real cool, real down to earth, salt of the earth type of person, and uh, 
went in there and uh, told him what I was looking for. Told him I didn't really want to drip, but I wanted the option to eventually if I decided to get into it. Because um, at first it was just a not to smoke cigarette type of thing. And now it's still that, but it's becoming more of a, a hobby. Because they, these things are pretty cool. You can do a lot with them. Um, I enjoy just the act of smoking. Um, you know, just seeing the, the smoke, the vapor, the clouds, the, you know, the oral stimulation, I suppose. And uh, just all the different flavors are, are completely delicious. It's mind-blowing the flavors that they have and how many. And that you could do it indoors. And, uh, you know, it's, and it doesn't smell bad. It smells good, actually. And, uh, you know, stuff like that. You could build your own mods, your, your coils, everything. And, uh, you know, it's basically like an, an AR-15 you know, of e-cigs once you get to this level, you know, you could bolt on whatever you want, um, you know, you could adjust settings and, and this, that, and the other thing, so, give me a second. And you can clearly tell that this thing blows clouds. Uh, it chucks, so to speak, and um, it's a lot more satisfying than either of the previous two pens that I've had, and by that, I've been able to lower my nicotine intake sub significantly. I was vaping 18 milligrams, 14, 12 on the low end with the, uh, with the pens. With this, this is currently three that I have in here, and this is... Uh, Transistor juice, Blutiful Disaster is the flavor. Um, it's 8515 VGPG, and the nick level is, is 3 milligrams. And uh, this was $35. And it's a 120 milliliter bottle, and it tastes like some kind of ice cream sundae, and it's absolutely delicious. And I've been vaping on this thing for like the past like week, and this is how much juice I've been through. So, you know, it's decent. Oh, let me uh, let me get this out the way. It's kind of throwing off my groove, man. Don't get nervous either. I cannot shoot you through the internet, nor would I shoot any innocent person. So you need to relax. I might shoot the camera though. I might just to see what happens because I've been told that iPhones will stop a bullet. But if I do that, then I can't make videos for you guys. So I know how much you guys appreciate and enjoy that. So I'll, I'll just put this to the side. Um, but yeah, so juice is great, but you know, you can get there's a bazillion flavors of juices and different companies and everything. Um, I recommend more a higher VG content than PG. PG gives you a little bit better of a throat hit. VG is a little bit smoother. Um, but I like the viscosity of VG juices better. I think they vape better. And they usually have a, a, um, a more distinguished and fuller flavor. Um, back to the device here. This is the, uh, the Arctic sub tank. Um, it can vape down to 0.2 ohms, which is pretty low. Um, and that, that's the resistance is 0.2 ohms. Um, the less resistance you have, the more vapor it can produce, the, the harder it's going to chuck, the more clouds you're going to get, the fuller flavor you're going to get. Um, has adjustable airflow. You turn this little ring here, that would be like completely open. You could completely close it, which I don't think you would ever want to do. I usually keep it about there. Um, so it's a tighter draw, but it, it works. Um, this is the trigger. You hit this when you want to vape. Hold it down, obviously. Um, has a charging port back here. Uh, it takes a standard micro USB uh, charging port. So my phone is the Galaxy S5 Active. Um, which you're interested in that, I have a review on it. And uh, it's a great phone. I love it. And I would actually recommend it over the 6 um, or the Edge. 
because um, you could actually put US or micro SD cards in there and, and have more storage where you're kind of like with the six it's it's internal only so this is the eLeaf iStick 50 watt and so that means it can be adjusted up to 50 watts um, which in essence if you don't know too much about sorry guys my alarm just went off on uh, on my phone well not on my phone my other phone that I'm using to record um, so like I was saying 50 watts means in essence if you're new to vaping the higher wattage um, the harder it's gonna hit the more power it has behind it um, but it usually usually also means um, the more juice it's gonna burn through quicker and battery life um, this is a great device in total I got the battery the tank and a free bottle of juice from the guy at the local vape shop um, for like a hundred bucks and you could probably get them a little bit cheaper online and stuff but I was just in there that day and uh, I needed something because mine had been broken for a couple days and I was fiending for a good vape and uh, I was ready to step up the game and sacrifice the space in the pocket for something that's going to be better and help me out and something I could vape less nicotine you know level juice with So I ended up grabbing this, and uh, I've been completely overly satisfied with this. Um, you can see here, uh, it shows 30 watts currently. That's what I'm vaping at is 30 watts. It shows the resistance down here. Um, when you hit it, it shows you for how long you, you hit it. So that was about 2.82 seconds. Um, you can lock it. You can lock this. It says lock right there. Um, you hold down these buttons. Now it's unlocked. So now I could go up or down um, in 0.1 increments all the way up to 50. And then all the way down to I think like 5 or something. Or something crazy. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's like 15. It's something lower. No. Nope. 6.6 .6 watts is the lowest you can go with this. So let's bring it back up to 30. Uh, it's very quick. Uh, it's very easy to use. Um, the user interface, man, is uh, is real easy to get to get used to. Um, go ahead and lock this again. It it displays your battery life on there. Um, if you can see the little battery uh, signal right there in the the right hand. Um, it's getting low, I need to charge it, especially before I go to work. But it's not the most accurate, but it is, you know, once you see it getting lower, you know, a little bit past uh, halfway, you might want to throw it on the charger for a little bit. It charges relatively fast, and the uh, the batteries in here hold a, hold a charge for quite a while. Um, on a full charge, vaping regularly, like I do, and I mean, I... If I'm just around the house, you know, this thing's usually in my mouth just because I like seeing how big of a cloud I could get or, you know, whatever. It's it's a pastime, I guess. Um, this thing will last me about two or three days on a full charge as opposed to the other one lasted me maybe about eight hours. This thing will go continuously if you held the button down um, for eight hours and you were hitting this straight for eight hours, which is impossible. But if you were, that's how long it would last. Probably a little bit longer as well. Um, I highly suggest this setup if you're looking to upgrade or even to get into it for the first time because um, you're going to say, oh, I'm going to quit SIGs. I'm just going to get a little starter pack, a little pen or something. It's going to be good enough, and it's not. Um, I highly suggest you, you just go spend the money off the bat, and uh, this will definitely help you quit smoking cigarettes, and you'll be able to vape a lot lower juice, um, nicotine milligram level wise, and uh, it's going to help you out. Plus, the flavor is going to be way better, and it's, there's a lot more options. You could put a bunch of different tanks on here. You could build your own coils. I could turn this into a dripper if I wanted. Um, it's just it's a great little setup, so I highly recommend it. Um, you could also switch. 
by hitting it three times from watts to volts. So now that's 2.4 volts or 4.2 volts, I'm sorry. And uh, three times again brings it back to uh, 30 watts. So I like vaping on watts. I don't know. Most people do, I think. But excellent setup, completely satisfied. I'm really enjoying it. And uh, if you're trying to quit SIGs or you're into vaping um, and you have not picked one of these up, I highly suggest it. Uh, e Leaf I Stick 50 watt. They also make a 30 watt, which is just as good, but it only goes up to 30 watts, which, you know, I like the option. I usually vape at 30 watts only. Um, gives me a good balance between battery life and uh, burning up the juice. Um, it doesn't go through it so quick, um, but I do have the option to vape at a higher level, and especially if you want to do lower ohm coils, like this is possible to go down to a 0.2, um, you're probably going to want to vape at 40 or 50 watts at a 0.2. Um, so right now I'm just running the 0.5, um, but yeah, Terribly Tactical completely signs off on this product. Uh, check them out if you're interested. Uh, you can find them anywhere online, your local vape sh uh, shop. Just ask them for uh, the E-Leaf iStick 50 or 30 watt, depending on what you want. The 30 is a little bit cheaper, and it is a little bit smaller. Um, but you can still put a tank like this on there. So, as always, it's your boy Terribly Tactical reminding you to stay safe, stay vape, stay armed, always be prepared. And don't ever think about treading on me. <laughs> Peace.